In this online video, we are going to look at how to use a combo box to look up values in a table and display that information on a form. I have a form available on our vehicles table and it shows all the information about the vehicle that's in the garage and we can use the record selectors at the bottom to find each piece of information. Now that's fine if you've only got 14 records, but just imagine if you had 14,000 records, how would you find that information? Perhaps you are on the end of the telephone and somebody wants to find out some information and they give you the registration number. You would need to find that very quickly. There are ways of doing that that you should already know, for example using the filters or even using the find to find that information. But I'm going to show you a more visually appealing way. Let's switch to design view and create a little bit of space in our form header. So I'm going to click and drag the dividing line down to create some space in the form header. We're then going to use our toolbox. Here it is to add a combo box. Now we've used those previously and remember just to have your control wizard on. It really does make life easier. So we'll select the combo box and click and drag to draw the box the shape and size that we want it and immediately the wizard starts. We've looked at these two options previously so I'm not going to mention them. I'm going to jump straight to the third option, which is find a record on my form based on the value I selected in the combo box. We'll go through the wizard and it's asking us here which fields we want to use that we'll be able to see actually in the combo box. Well, we want the registration number, so I'll move that across. You only need one field, but I like to put more than one in to help you differentiate between similar records. So I'm also going to add the model of the car and the manufacturer of the car, just to help me identify. But everything will happen because of the registration number. We'll carry on through the wizard. And the next bit shows us what the combi box will look like. But just notice that the hide key column tick box is selected. Access will do that automatically if one of the fields that you've selected is a primary key. In this instance, the registration number is a primary key. I don't want it to be a primary, sorry, I do want it to be a primary key, but I want to be able to see it because I'm looking up information based on that value. So remove the tick and then we can see the registration number there. Everything else looks okay. So we'll carry on through the wizard and it asks us what label we would like to use. Always use a meaningful label. Find car registration, for example, and finish the wizard. So there's our combi box. We'll just resize this a little bit so we can see the label. And then switch to form view and see how this works. So there we are in form view and what we have is the information about the currently selected record. Now if I want to find a particular record I can now use this drop down. All the records are displayed and I can scroll down through the records to find the one I want. Simply click on it and the form is updated based on that information. Find another record and the form is updated based on that information. You can also type into this box and it will jump straight to the record. So for example, and I like to do this by clicking on the drop down first, but you don't need to. I just find it easier because I, as I start typing, for example, let's imagine I want to find this record here. As I start typing, you can see that it jumps to the nearest record it can find, beginning with the letter that you've just typed. I type the letter Y 
and because it's only the only Y record, it's jumped straight to it. And then I press the Enter key, and it finds that information for me. So that is a combo box used to look up information about any particular record and display that record in the form.